Okay, today we're out doing something that I have enjoyed for many years, but I haven't really had the time to do it in the last couple of years. But I'm really stoked we're out here trolling. Uh, this is very early spring trolling for pike. So we have uh, basically almost zero degrees Celsius in the water right now. So uh, baits like platypus and Vestin Sietta are classical uh, spring trolling lures that they really excel when the water is cold and you want to be trolling in 0.9 to maybe 1.4 knots. Uh, so we're out here on a really big lake. My small boat, I rigged it up for trolling. We're out here just crisscrossing over shallow areas. Uh, and, and trolling is a very good method to use in combination with uh, normal spin fishing because uh, you cover a lot of water and you kind of really learn the area. And also it's a great way to find where the pike are standing uh, at the moment. So. Starting out with trolling in, in the morning or in, in, uh, in the first half of the day, figuring out a, uh, a, a pattern and then maybe uh, starting to spin fish in the afternoon. But today we're only doing trolling. I'm super stoked. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. Tag along. <laughs> Pretty cool, I just missed a fish on one of my rods right after another fish took the, took the, this is the Vestin Jette actually, I think, yeah, cool. <laughs> I was just about to release this rod, just do it like this, get it out of the way. And then the next fish took. This is spring trolling when it's the best. When you have these conditions, it's like almost flat water. This is one of the biggest lakes in Europe. Small boat, just planer boards. Just simplicity. It's magical. This will be my first pike this year on open water. Bit rusty when it comes to trolling. It was a long time ago. <laughs> Pretty cool start of the day. Just missed the fish and right after this one. Totally hammered a Vestins Jette. And here we have some salmon trollers coming by. Just... Oh. There we go. When it's like it's super cold in the water, they're quite eager to go. Cool, fun start right away. We're just uh, crossing a shallow area here. And right away I had a strike on a platypus. And now I had a strike on a Vestin Sietta. It was almost a double strike. So I'm just trying to get out all the rods again before, because we're just passing over another shallow area and I really want to get my rods out. That Yeah. 
Nice. <laughs> Love those shakes. So this is a uh, shallow area, just like far out from all of the spawning base and stuff. We have the huge lake right out here and it's starting to, now it's 30 meters deep and this fish was standing just on the drop off from like four meters, just over the edge, like textbook where it should be standing. Like days like this, when you have this calm weather, you have, you can see everything really good. It's just magical. Love the strikes and everything. There we go. Second fish of the day. Nice one. Super strong for being this cold in the water. So it took rock hard on a platypus. Classic uh, official roach color. Just a huge favorite. Also, this is the first rod that we had strike on this in, in, in the morning. And also, the Vestins Jette is also uh, official roach color. So three strikes, three official roach. That's cool. Okay, so we just measured her and she is 113, 112 centimeters, roughly. It's a small boat, hard to get accurate, accurate length. She's a fantastic specimen. Uh, and I mean, this is, this weather conditions, trolling, ah, it's just fantastic. She took a platypus in a classic color, official roach, super hard. So, very early spring trolling. This is so much fun. I love this. I wish I can do it more. <laughs> A cool product for trolling uh, for pike and also of course spin fishing for pike and also salmon trolling we have this new catch and release landing net in the size extra extra large so like our other nets we have this cord which makes it quite easy to to hold the net when you're by yourself because it's very deep and you just release it when you net the fish also we have a measuring board right here on the shaft 105 centimeters just to get a rough estimation of the fish and it's very durable and it has a nice handle it's just a really sturdy good net especially good when you're trolling for pike or salmon so if you're looking for a new net large net check out the catch and release uh, landing net from Vestian Fishing it's awesome for this purpose oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, up. there we go is yet the official roach. Ah, yeah, man. Yeah. Double strike. Cool on the left is yet the headlight color. That's always a safe card. This is 95, maybe. Nice fish. Here's the second pike. I actually took the lure first natural pike color oh there we go platypus natural pike oh the wolf fun hook yeah it's on the yette headlights again 
nice bike. Always thought I liked the strikes. It's so cool. This is the large Vestin's Jette. The first lure the Vestin ever made back in the 50s. Pretty cool. Still today, it's one of the best baits for big pike. So if you're looking for good baits for early trolling, Vestin's Jette and the Platypus, you should not leave without them. Yeah. We were just talking about that this is a nice area and nothing really happened and Eric just said, ah, it's not biting here. <laughs> and then he, exactly when he ended the last word, he saw this rod bend and he's like, oh, 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 oh. It's funny. Spring trolling, this is pike number 10. It's really fun when you have some action on this type of fishing. I like having different kind of lures out like Jette and Platypus at the same time because some days they're more into the Jette and some days it's, it's more of a Platypus day. Today I'm not really seeing a pattern, it's like it's like every other fish on the Platypus, every other fish on, on the Jette. There we go. Nice fish. Very well fed. It's this time of year when it's almost easier to jump over the pike than running around them. That's how fat they are. <laughs> cool. So the three, three of my favorite baits for springtime trolling is the platypus. This lure comes in several different sizes and you have two eyelets that easily adjust the action of the bait so you can alter from a really extreme rolling slow action uh, in the front eyelet and in the upper eyelet you can have a more erratic deep action. So it's a very all-round uh, lure, but for spring trolling, this is one of the best lures on the market, no doubt. Also, the classic Vestins Jette. This is a lure that has been catching giant pike for many, many years. And this lure also has the extreme rolling action. That's something that really speaks to large pikes, it's something they like about it. Vestins Jette, always a great lure. I've caught several pikes on it today. Just an awesome lure. Another lure for trolling is the raw bite. One of my favorite for spin fishing, but also when uh, trolling, it can be really good. We have it in uh, several sizes also. So this is a lure I would use if the pike are a little bit more active and for post spawn fishing. That's when I think the raw bite is a perfect, uh, perfect lure. So normally the platypus, I like trolling it uh, in the springtime around 1.2 to 1.4 knots. Uh, I know they have a great movement then and you cover a lot of water. And they can be trolled down to about 1 knot, 0 0.9 knots. But if you want to go really slow with the platypus, then you should just widen the beak. So here I just take into like wooden sticks, uh, epoxy glue and just cover it up. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it really does the job. Like this lure I can fish down to 0.6 knots and you still have a rolling action. 
this is a great tip it also works on the Yette so if you want to go really really slow try widening the beak on the lures or the lip like on a Vestis Yette that's a, good, uh, a great tip for springtime trollers Jävlar! Så är det! Oops. Double strike again! Another double strike! Trolling is so fun when you get when you get to experience fishing like this. This trolling can be quite boring sometimes, but when you really find the fish and you experience stuff like this, it's a whole it's a whole nother level. So fun. And this feels like a better fish, or if it's just tangled. That's the second best fish for the day. That's a nice fish. <laughs> Small boat. Whoops. Oh. That was a huge mistake by me. Too much line out. That's a nice fish. <laughs> Sometimes you get a little bit too empty and you almost screw up. Good thing it's a big net. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a big fish. Much bigger than I expected first. Uh, see the platypus here? Oh. This is a much bigger pike than I expected. It's very, very fat. And it's also quite long. <laughs> also like the first large fish today was on the same, same platypus and on the same rod. And this is actually the V10 rod because I'm using different rods on all. I don't have six of the same rod. So <laughs> the pike seem to like the V10 rods today. I'm not telling you if you're gonna go trolling, use the V10 rods, but <laughs> it's funny though. <laughs> We're gonna quickly weigh this fish because it's uh, it's a hard fish to to guess how big it is because it's long and it's very thick. So. We're gonna we're gonna weigh it and see how heavy she is because she looks like a heavy sucker. Always so uh, cool to see what they weigh. It's the moment of truth. So now we have the correct weight and length of the fish and this is just an awesome start. First sesh 2021. I'm so glad I brought Eric to go out trolling here. And this fish is 114 centimeters, 10.16 kilos. And she is just beautiful. Look at that fish. It took the same platypus official roach as the 113 this morning. So that's a uh, something good with that. 
particular bait today. <laughs> wow, look, she's wide. She has a large belly, she's full. But she's still missing a little bit on the tail. She could be heavier, but it's just magnificent way to start the year.